Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about drugs. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of drugs is Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 through 23. It says, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, that you may not do the things that you desire. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the deeds of the flesh are obvious, which are, adultery, sexual immorality, uncleanness, lustfulness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousies, outbursts of anger, rivalries, divisions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, even as I also forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit God's kingdom. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of drugs is found in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 through 20. It says, Therefore watch carefully how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, don't be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Don't be drunken with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always concerning all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God, even the Father. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. It reads, Or don't you know that the unrighteous will not inherit God's kingdom? Don't be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor extortionists, will inherit God's kingdom. Some of you were such, but you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and in the Spirit of our God. Passage number 4. This is from Titus chapter 2, verses 1 through 8. The scripture says, But say the things which fit sound doctrine, that older men should be temperate, sensible, sober-minded, sound in faith, in love, and in perseverance. And that older women likewise be reverent in behavior, not slanderers nor enslaved to much wine, teachers of that which is good, that they may train the young wives to love their husbands, to love their children, to be sober-minded, chaste, workers at home, kind, being in subjection to their own husbands, that God's word may not be blasphemed. Likewise, exhort the younger men to be sober-minded. In all things show yourself an example of good works. In your teaching, show integrity, seriousness, incorruptibility, and soundness of speech that can't be condemned, that he who opposes you may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say about us. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Romans chapter 13, verses 12 through 14. The Bible says, The night is far gone, and the day is near. Let's therefore throw off the deeds of darkness, and let's put on the armor of light. Let's walk properly, as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and lustful acts, and not in strife and jealousy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh, for its lusts. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of drugs, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on drugs. Passage number 6 is from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 through 9. It says, Be sober and self-controlled. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Withstand him steadfast in your faith, knowing that your brothers who are in the world are undergoing the same sufferings. 
Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 13 through 14. The Bible says, No temptation has taken you except what is common to man. God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted above what you are able, but will with the temptation also make the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of drugs is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 4 through 8. It reads, But you, brothers, aren't in darkness, that the day should overtake you like a thief. You are all children of light and children of the day. We don't belong to the night, nor to darkness, so then let's not sleep, as the rest are, but let's watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep in the night, and those who are drunk are drunk in the night. But since we belong to the day, let's be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. The passage states, Therefore I urge you, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what is the good, well-pleasing, and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace that was given me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think reasonably, as God has a portion to each person a measure of faith. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of drugs is from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1. It says, Wine is a mocker and beer is a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of drugs. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to drugs, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.